Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today in The Sims 4, I wanted to do another grave hut, but in this save. So in this save, I have die in accidents on, and obviously I also have aging on. So I thought we could start in Willow Creek, and it already seems Vivian, I forgot his name, is dead, so I thought we would visit them first. <gasps> oh, I already see him. Okay, that's perfect. Well, so far, I have a Jeffrey Landgrab's grave and Nancy's grave, and then I have my own two pets grave. Wait, no. I'm just going to strengthen the connection to some of these because they're very important to me. Okay, honestly, these might be fake anyway. I don't know if they have actual connection because I did change save files. But we have Vivian Lewis and then we have Dennis Kim. Okay, on to the next. Let's see about Oasis Springs. So there's a few people missing here. Maybe I'll just go visit this household. Okay, so Don Lothario is out in the front. I'm gonna knock on the door. Okay, so I see... Oh, there's one urn. Okay, so Katrina Caliente has died. That is pretty good. I'm sorry. Maybe not. I feel like that's probably it for this world as well. Because a lot of them are just like single people moving in. Let's try Windenburg. I think the fires are all there. I feel like the free spirits would have more people. So I'm gonna go there and hopefully there's some graves. I do want to say I have MC Command Center so like people can move out on their own they can merge with other people because they may be together but i already see a grave so that is good we are successful on our hunt here we have oh i do not know how to say that but we have this person's grave i feel like yeah there's probably that old guy in this household right so let's visit here oh yes I don't even have to knock on the door. That is nice. It makes it very quick and easy. This was a fail. Ooh, Marcus Flex is missing. Maybe I'll go visit over here. He could be dating somewhere else, as I said. I don't see nothing in the front, so that's not good. Oh, they have a horse named Polaris. She's cute. Oh, it seems like Marcus Flex is dating somebody. On to... I don't think I can get, like, urns or anything from an apartment, but I guess it wouldn't hurt to check. Ooh, like, he's missing his mother. That is good. Let's see if we can get an urn from an apartment. I feel like if I can, it's probably at the bottom. Don't see any- Oh no, actually, yes. It's actually- Okay, it's over here, but the camera's jumping. Yeah, Gita. I don't know if I said that right. So you can get urns from an apartment. It will just be at the bottom, usually. I don't think there's anyone else missing. Ooh, the beta household has moved. Oh, Akira? is missing. Let's see. So we have Akira here. He is dead. Dead and gone. Dylan Sigworth is dead. We have Kiala. I, I don't know how to say it. I'm so sorry. We have a spellcaster grave. Minerva Charm. Oh my gosh. That is so good. Our first occult grave. So we have Ekram Elderberry and we also have Eleanor Elderberry. We have two graves back here. Mary Greenberg and Blossom Greenberg. We have Francis Spencer. We've made it to Snowy Escape and and we have Sachiko and Shigeru. I'm so sorry if I said that wrong. Time to take on Hanford on Bagley. Oh, so these two people are most likely dead. So I don't even know if I can get their grave. The husbands lived there from Cottage Living. I think Anne is one of them. Dang it, they're not here. Okay, so we are on our last row of worlds. I'm pretty sure there was like an old guy in the Prescott family, so let's visit them. But other than that, everyone else seems to be there in Copperdale. <gasps> yes, I see him. Okay, next up we have San Sequoia. So everyone from the Michelson seems to be there. Ooh, I'm pretty sure there's also an old lady that's supposed to be here, like Eleanor. Is that her name? She always like calls you to see if you need help with your infants. <gasps> yep, she's here. Okay, good. And her name name is Eleanor. I'm not so sure about this family, so I'm gonna go check them. <gasps> yes, a grave. Okay, good. Yeah, I don't know how to say that. Mr. Robles. Okay, we're doing well for ourselves. Moving on to Chestnut Ridge. Um, yeah, it seems like we have everyone there, everyone here. A lot of these people are just single households, so they most likely don't have any graves. So this is where Marcus moved to. We have Tamarang. Ooh, is she always by herself? I feel like I'm very unsure about these residents. Unfortunately, I don't see anything, so I'm gonna visit this unit. I don't see a grave inside, but this is where Rory lives, so I guess, yeah. And then I think there's an apartment upstairs. <gasps> yes! Okay, good. So we have this person, and then we have this person. That is so nice. On to Ciudad and Amarada. So yeah, everyone is here. Ooh, isn't there that other person? Like, isn't Carlos? No, not Carlos. Wait, I thought 
thought Carlos was in this household unless he moved out with someone else. Oh, I know what happened to Carlos. I know what happened to Carlos. Yeah, Carlos is in this family, right? I accidentally like took him out of the family. So he's like not in the world. But yeah, everyone seems to be in this world, unfortunately. Unfortunately, that sucks. And also Ravenwood is new, so I know no one is dead here. But I think that's the end of our journey. So we can start building our graveyard. And I think I want to build it on the museum line because our founder lived in Brinelton Bay and also the lighthouse is over here so I think that would be very beautiful. It is nighttime unfortunately but we are going to bulldoze this lot and we're going to turn it into a cemetery and let's just see how many graves we have to put out. I'm so sorry that it's nighttime. Okay so we collected 24 graves today minus the two from Nancy and Jeffrey land grab because I already grabbed those. I think we're starting off pretty good and then this is my family so Jeff has married my mother Allie and then Zoe is also my mom and then Allie also had two pets she had a cat and a dog but I guess we can start building the graveyard now so let me just start off with saying this was like the hardest build ever like I don't know like it's just something with like things like community lots and just something that's not a residential lot that I just find hard to build in The Sims and I will say, of course, this is for my ABC Legacy Challenge, so it's not your, like, basic graveyard. Because I imagine it being, like, one, it feels like a church, and I would say it would be maybe more brown, whereas mine is pink and light colors, so... Yeah, this is not very realistic, but I don't know. I think this will fit for my ABC Legacy Challenge, so that all that, that matters, I guess. But yeah, I like it. I made it pink on the outside, of course. I used the Growing Together stone for like an accent. And yeah, that's pretty much it. But yeah, I bulldozed so many times that I like ended up like, I guess, making a graveyard accidentally for Strangerville because I... Like, I feel like it fits that vibe so yeah um so you may see a Strangerville graveyard soon as well but yeah I just I don't know I bulged those so many times I felt like I was trying to recreate the lighthouse a little bit just like a tiny bit and that's how I came up with the Strangerville grave part yard or whatever I don't know though but like it may not come out that soon because I'm just building this so I don't think I want to build another one or decorate another one because it was just so hard but I wanted it to be a space where you could like hold funerals as well so it's just not like I don't know very small inside so in the upstairs I don't think I show you but yeah like there's just some things I had to cut out because this video was gonna be too long but upstairs, I just have like a desk. I have a bunch of coffins you can choose from. So that was kind of my thought process. Like maybe they're letting you choose what casket you want to use for the funeral. Um, so yeah, obviously there's not enough options upstairs. So maybe they have like something you can order online as well. But yeah, it was rough building this. Um, I just, I don't know. I don't know what I was going for, but I do ended up, I do end up liking it, I guess. Kind of. I feel more comfortable with the outdoors area. I think that's my favorite part, whereas the indoors area is just not my favorite part. I don't like it at all, really. So, yeah, but it's fine. So, once you walk in, there's like a little entryway. Then there's on the right a kitchen so i guess if you order a caterer they can cook in there i don't know if you can actually order one for a funeral but i assume um and then you walk into the dining room after the entryway um you have a bathroom in the back um a bouquet table um a family room i guess or a room that i imagine that you could announce the will in or someone reads the real the will in that room and then on the far right is where you hold the funeral. So yeah, um, I also got two crypts. So that is good. And I do end up placing my family in the graveyard and also getting decorative gravestones because that way it looks full. Um, but for me, I placed mine out. And then I'm thinking I'm going to put the strangers in the crypt. So like Nancy Landgrab, Jeffrey Landgrab, 
they're going to be in the crib because they're not family, you know? So I thought it would be nice to just put them there instead of like out. And yeah, so obviously when I upload this to the gallery, the graves that I collected will be useless. So like, you know, like it won't have a name to it. So I don't know if I uploaded with the graves in the crypt, if they will like actually transfer. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure each crypt can hold 20 graves. So if you do download this, just make sure to, I guess, delete the graves that I put in there. Or I guess I could just, well, no, I guess I could upload it without the graves in there, right? Yeah, that probably would be preferable. So maybe I'll just do that. But right now we're just figuring out the floor plan. Um, I feel like I should have cut this part out because obviously I don't know what I'm going for. And I feel like at the far right was the only good place to put like the funeral to be at. Um, so there's that. But yeah, I just struggled a lot with this. So I don't even know. I kind of consider like not showing you the inside at all because I just, I don't really like it, to be honest with you. Like, it's fine for what it is, but it's just like, I don't know, like, maybe it just didn't need to be that big. I kept shrieking the left side, um, so the spot where the dining tables were, but yeah, I just, I don't know, and then there's, like, a lot of wall space that is, like, I don't know what to do with it, and I don't know, it's just, I don't know, but maybe I'll try to build a generic graveyard, and not something for my sims but yeah I don't know like this is particularly for my ABC legacy challenge so building a generic one would be good so I can put it like for my other challenges so like I'm playing the sims and bloom family I'm playing not so berry I have a short legacy challenge a career legacy challenge so having a more generic graveyard for them would be nice because like I don't think I want to build a graveyards in total for all of my gameplay saves. Though I will admit, building a graveyard specifically for like the Sims and Bloom family and the Not So Berry family could be fun because like, I don't know, it would be crazy in colors because like I would try to get mint flowers, red flowers, yellow flowers, all that good stuff and I don't know, that would be fun but like that would be a lot. And if I did, I guess I could build like a smaller one, like it doesn't have to be on this big lot. But with the ABC Legacy Challenge, um, it ha it's a 26th generation challenge. So, like, of course, I'm going to need a big graveyard. And um, I guess in total, I believe, the graveyards that I put out, there are 50 of them. So, we should have more than enough, hopefully. Well, maybe not because obviously, like, we have cousins. They're going to have children. But, you know, it, it's, it's going to be fine. Um, I can make the space work if I need to um and then I tried to go with the darker floor because I was like maybe that's prettier but then I was like looking at the outside and I was like maybe this is just like it probably feels best for it to be in light colors because like the outside is light colors so yeah um I gave you a chess table outside as well just an activity for you to do um and yeah I don't know this is simple. It's good. It's okay. Um, I don't know. Anyways, in the kitchen, I use like the home shelf hustle stuff. Um, right now I'm just using the cottage living stuff because I'm using like the flooring. I'm using that. Um, yeah, but that's all. But yeah, now I also got the wishing well because I don't know, like the thought of someone dying and making a wish um, as a tradition, like, every single time someone dies, you can, like, make a wish in the wishing well. I don't know. I think that's fun. So, I started doing that. I got that from Rochella because she always does that. So, yeah, I think that would be nice as well. And then I tried to do these yellow and pink flowers because, again, I love the color yellow. So, like, if I can use it, I will. And, yeah, but obviously, like, the yellow does not go together with the color scheme because the color scheme is just pink. That's all. Like, just pink, nothing else. But now I'm changing it to a light wood color, and we're moving on to the Home Shelf Hustle Kitchen. Um, but yeah, um, anyways, hopefully this is a good spot to have a funeral. I haven't hold a funeral yet, so I don't know what, like, all the activities you can do. But hopefully you can do most of them here. Um, at least I hope you can. 
and instead of using like the grave sites I decided to just place the graves obviously on the ground because I don't know I just thought that fit better for what we were going for and I always used to do that when I was building like a fake graveyard so yeah anyways in the kitchen I wanted to get like a sign um I don't know it's just I thought it could have like what the I guess family members ordered um or what the customers order I guess but yeah um I don't know I feel like I I don't know what's actually I don't get a sign I lied I decided I did not like it because it did not actually look like a menu sign so I decided to use that thing from cool kitchen but yeah I don't know really what to say about this build um I don't know it's just it's not my favorite as I said so it's like Oh, we're back on the inside. Yay. I'm so excited for this. Um, I don't know. I guess I feel like I could definitely probably build something that's one story and a little bit smaller and maybe have an easier time. But yeah, I don't know. Anyways, I'm sorry. But then I get this little menu from Dine Out and I was thinking, okay, that's what they decided to cook for the funeral. Um, and I got a bowl of fruits. I don't think it stays at the end. I don't know if I like delete it or if me painting the wall or something got it deleted because, you know, this game can be so annoying. Like, it's so weird. Like, you painting a wall or, I guess, making the build smaller or whatever deletes it. So, that's weird. But we got some aprons. I changed the color of the door eventually if I don't do it right now. And yeah, I can't believe we're still in the inside. Okay, I'm sorry. I thought this would go by a little bit faster. Sorry for my rambling, but there is only one bathroom, but there's like room for 12 people to come to the funeral. Um, so like I have six benches that can sit two people and then for the um, dining tables that can seat 12 in total. So yeah, you only have one bathroom, but hopefully um you're not on the same schedule as everyone else we have like a buffet table I wanted to get like the longer table so like you can like just drag the food from the buffet table out because I just don't like that it's a circle but I just decided maybe that's just not worth it and it's okay and then I got some bouquets for the table um I got the one from love struck um that is very cute I love the pink color and I was kind of thinking like maybe depending on your sim and maybe what their favorite color is, you could possibly change the color scheme. Obviously, like you can't really like realistically, if you want it to be realistic, you wouldn't probably change the flooring or the table, but you could change the flowers. Um, I personally thought about choosing like the chair colors, but Maybe that's also not realistic. It's not, but it's fine. Um, anyways, it is the same. So you can do anything you want to do. Um, and now I'm just working on the family room. So I put a seating area, a rug, a table, um, another picture frame. And yeah, I haven't got to play with the wheels yet, but I feel like that's going to come. Um, I mean, I guess I can play with my own gameplay, but I am... I do have a live and death playthrough going on and I'm pretty sure that's going to take a while obviously because this pack is about death obviously so that has to happen so I haven't played with the wills just yet um but I think that could be fun anyways I'm so sorry I feel like I'm rambling and talking about nothing important I'm just chatting but hopefully that's fine but in my next ABC legacy episode I think I'm gonna have a funeral um, I don't think you can have like a funeral for multiple people, which is kind of sad, but I think if I do hold one, it probably should be for the founder because obviously she's the first generation. She's the reason why I guess Bailey and Calliope are here. But yeah, it's just, I would love to throw one for Zoe. Like those are only two people, but it's probably too much to hold two funerals at once. Or no, at like one episode, I guess. I don't know. We could do like one episode for Allie, one episode for Zoe. That could be fun. Um, also in that challenge, I just, I don't know. I kind of want to get rid of her parents. Not like kill them, but like move them out. But the thing is, is like, um, Calliope needs to get married before she has two kids. 
and so she can complete that part of the aspiration and then I think she needs to like become friends with three grandchildren or something and obviously I can't really do that if she's not in the household so here we are hopefully um I don't know maybe she'll get pregnant in the next episode um who knows um I probably would have her get pregnant though because like I think this I don't know what episode we're on actually maybe the next one would be six I don't know I'm guessing I'm not looking but yeah anyways I think this is coming together um I got some more flowers on the little stage area um I put the fake little casket up there so you can put like flowers on it so that could be cute um I will say I love the portrait thingy they gave us from life and death but Obviously, if you change the wood frame color, it changes the flowers with it, so it's not really that customizable. I wish you could change the frame color and the flowers separately, but for some reason, that's not the case. So, like, if you want yellow flowers, you're gonna have to go with, like, a whole different wood tone. But in the back area, I was thinking, like, you could put a portrait of your sim here, um, the sim that is dead, <laughs> um, because obviously this is for them, so, like, Maybe you would have pictures everywhere. I don't necessarily know if you want to like fill up a collage, but that was the thought. You could delete it and just put a bigger picture, I suppose. Um, and then we're just like painting the walls. And then I got this arch in the entranceway, which is cute. Um, and yeah. Oh, I still have the flowers around that thingy. I thought we were past that point. Obviously not. Um, but yeah, I'm just now getting the graves, um, and placing them. So for the pets, I put them at the, I guess, edge of the little, um, cover thingy. I don't even know what to call it, but it's fine. Um, and with each grave, I love to like put flowers out in front of them because obviously that's realistic. And in my own game, I'll probably like post or I guess... I'll probably, um, what do you call it? I'll probably, like, put their photos in front of it instead of doing the portrait because that way, obviously, is more customizable. So hopefully I have photos of her to put out. And now we're just starting to place more graves, um, and getting it all figured out. Um, yeah, and I also put, like, a fountain in the middle because I thought that was cute. And it helped break it up because, like, I don't know, I just can't have graves, like, everywhere. It felt really unorganized like that. Um, but yeah, now we're just getting that fountain. Um, and all that good stuff, I guess. Also, Zoe, at the moment, is dead on her own. Like, her partner is not dead yet. Um, so right now she is just standing lonely over there, unfortunately, I guess. I don't know, but yeah, anyways, I'm so sorry. Um, but yeah, I said... There's, I put like benches everywhere, um, so like, I don't know, there might be a lot of people on this lot, um, stargazing with their partner, but hopefully not. They really need to tune that though, because like, they do it all the time, like, oh my goodness, like too many sims do it at once, it's crazy, like, surely you could do anything else, um, but now I'm just getting more flowers in the front. Um, all that nice stuff and yeah I don't know it's cool it's fine it's all right anyways I'm so sorry anyways I also get an easel on this lot because I don't know I just wanted another activity I also got a telescope I thought that was nice and yeah pretty simple stuff um, I don't know I'm, I'm really sorry it's so obvious that I have nothing to talk about but I thought it was very important to talk for this build. Um, so that's what we're doing. Um, but yeah, um, I love this little fountain from Love Stuck. It's cute. It comes in pink. I also wanted to put like a picnic area, but like you already have the indoors for that. Um, but you know, I think having a picnic is fun for the celebration of death, I guess. But yeah, it's just, I thought, you know what, you have the space indoors to eat. So why not? Also, this build, this being in Brindleton Bay may be not the best because it always rains, which is why I hate Brindleton Bay so much. Like, I love it, but I hate it. 
like it's so beautiful but it's hard to see that when it constantly rains so that is also a struggle that I have with this world it's just I always cheated like I don't think I like I don't think I care if I cheated or not because it rains a little bit too much like fine fine rain one time but then can you stop like it's really annoying but this is coming together um I put a tree in this little corner I got the flower tree um and all that good stuff and also the um what do you call them taupe oh my gosh I'm gonna say it wrong taupe I I can't I can't say it oh my lord but I got the cat and dog thingy toperary tape I don't know the exact word. I need to see it. Toperary? Is that the right... Is that how you say it? Like, am I thinking of the right word right now? Like, I've seen it, but I feel like I never said it before. So, it's like, huh? Toperary. I don't know. Anyways, I decided to decorate the pet graves as well. So, like, for the cat, I got, like, a cat scratcher, a yarn ball. And for the dog, I got... A dog statue and another ball um so there's that and then I just get one singular table over here um I don't know maybe you just maybe it was a small funeral or something and only two people came and they wanted to sit outside instead I don't know or maybe you just wanted to sit and chat that is also fine um and then this is where I put the easels actually no I move it to the other side because like they're pretty big I didn't want them to be in the middle of the build Obviously, it's not in the middle, but it's in the way, so I put it in the back a little bit, um, so that way it's not too bad, and we probably should move on to the inside pretty soon. Um, I don't know. It's just, inside is not my favorite. I know I keep saying that, but I really, I don't know. Like, part of me is like, what if I just um, cut out all the inside parts? Would that be okay? Probably not. Like, that would be weird, but... Anyways, on the inside, I put an arch right here because I could, like, break it up a little bit. Um, I also, um, put these flower thingies from Eco Lifestyle because I thought that was cute. And another struggle was just, like, finding things to put on the wall. I was very unsure because it was, like, so plain. I also got these mirrors and in front of it I put those Eco Lifestyle plant thingies. Um, so I thought that was cute as well. Um pretty simple um I think we should probably be moving on to the family room to get another painting and to paint the walls of course um all that good stuff I got a light um there's candles in this room and yeah anyways I think I cut this part out so like you don't see the entryway either or the upstairs but I think that's fine hopefully but now we're just working on the terrain paint so I to rain paint everything, I put dirt under the graves, of course, because they're not going to be exactly clean. Um, and I also get some outdoor lighting. And that should be it for this full build. So we can actually hop into game and, I guess, place the rest of the graves in the crypt and get this uploaded for you. So this is where I place the cemetery. So it's on a 30 by 30 lot and this is where the museum in Bridleton Bay used to be. So first we're going to view it in a managed world so that way it's like morning time and the lighting is good and it's summer. So this is what it looks like. Very beautiful. I actually love looking at it in the evening time. And also these graves, I just placed them out because they were in the basement and I plan to put those in the crypt so just ignore that for now. But you know, you walk this way usually you would have two benches and then these are like all the fake graveyards over here and then we have some more benches I can't wait to see what this looks like in live mode and then over here is our wishing well our table our chess tables and our telescope and then over here is my family so here we have Zoe Patel or actually no her name is Zoe something else because she got married and then over here would be Allie and Jeb and then her two pets Henry and honestly I forgot what the cat's name was but over here we have a fountain we have two benches 
and the crypts. And then when you walk inside, this is the entrance way, pretty simple. And then when you walk this way, this is like the memorial display. Over here is where you eat. You have a trash can, fountain, the bouquet area. This is the bathroom. And then over here is the family room and maybe the place where you read the will. And then also this is the kitchen space for the caterer. And then over here is where you would have the funeral. So yeah, it's pretty cute. I like it, um, I guess. It's not the worst. And then upstairs, these are just the extra caskets. So yeah, that is the full building. But now I guess we can like go to live mode, place these in the crypts and get this uploaded. So again, it is nighttime. So unfortunately, the lot doesn't look that great. It also is fall, but I am going to place these in the crypt so I can just like open them and then place them all in there. So I have 24 graves actually. So maybe you can fit more. Honestly, I don't know. Also, I do want to say my mic was kind of away from me. So like if my audio wasn't that clear, I do apologize. The cemetery keeper is like stuck in there okay so this is Allie's grave of course we don't have a picture of Jeb but that's fine this was when Allie and Zoe was together obviously that's not the case anymore I don't think I have like a single photo of her so I'm gonna have to like get a photo of Allie with her daughter Bailey so I'll put it in white and then for Zoe this was Bailey when she was young so maybe I'll use this picture and I'll also put that in white what if we did yellow I like the idea of the frames being different colors colors. Actually, I think I want to create a copy. Oh, these are not doing what I thought they did. Oh, actually, no, they're fine, actually. Oh, they're lighting candles? Okay, there's nothing to rub. You're just rubbing the ground. That's cute. And then I wonder if I should probably change the grave type. Maybe I want to use this one. And then for Allie, I mean, she's into pets and like this is an option, but I don't know. Maybe I'll do the crow. Oh, but then that covers the dog. Actually, I need to go to build mode and place these a little bit better. So I'll do it like that and then the dog can be like over here obviously it doesn't look the best in fall but i think that's cute like that's really pretty and then i don't know about jeb i don't know nothing about that dude okay so i just realized this is gonna upload a cc because i have the photos here so basically i place the photos in a room i'm gonna save the room just so i can delete it and then upload everything and that should be good i think i'm gonna upload it in evening lighting so i just called it ab city graveyard so ABCDE graveyard has one bathroom and I think I'm gonna upload this to the gallery for you all So hopefully you enjoyed it and then I can place my photos back But if you enjoy this video, please like comment and subscribe. I love you. You are important and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye